Good morning, scientists. This is Mr. Overholt with the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools Science Department. Making the observation outside behind the house today. See, there, there is blue skies back there sometimes. Broken this morning. We have a little bit of partly cloudy skies. Love beautiful morning. Can't wait to see what the data has to say today. Magnet Elementary School in the heart of Winston-Salem. 47 degrees Fahrenheit. It's cooler than it was yesterday. We'll look at the comparison in just a second. Our anemometer is not spinning, so we don't have any wind speed. The humidity is at 76%. Part of the reason why we've got some clouds out there. We had two hundredths of an inch of rain in the last 24 hours. Two hundredths of an inch. That's very little bit. You break one inch into 100 pieces, and we're only talking about two of those pieces. That's a very little bit of rain. All we got was a little bit of mist yesterday. I was kind of shocked at that. The barometer, the barometric pressure, the air pressure sitting at more is 29 and 83 hundredths of an inch of mercury. That is lower than it was yesterday when we saw it. However, this is the part that gets exciting. We have not seen the words rising rapidly on our weather link since we started doing these videos. So if we're going to be having pressure increasing, it's going to be getting higher. What do we expect? We'll see with that if it is increasing or higher pressure. Yeah, we're looking at the skies clearing out a little bit. Well, I'm hoping to see some sunshine today. That would be nice. We'll get a look at the map here in a little bit and we'll see. But if our pressure is increasing rapidly, that's going to that's a good a good sense that this is going to increase a bit today. I'm hoping to see that it gets over 30. We'll have to see. Uh, so let's go into the map. Um, we noticed that we have the, here's the rain that went out went out for us yesterday. Um, we didn't get a whole lot of it. Um, notice we've got some pink and some white out here in the mountains. That is some snow up at the higher elevations, and so that's what we're looking at here. So this cold front left us and went away. With that cold front going away, it's moving which direction? Yeah, it's moving southeast. It's moving from the northeast to the south, or northwest to the southeast. Now, with that coming, what kind of air mass is sitting behind this cold front? It's called a cold front or for a reason, so the air mass behind it is cold air. With that being said, that is why they're talking about getting some snow coming in to the area Thursday night through Thursday night. We're talking to get beginning one to three inches of snow coming through in our area. We're sitting right up in here. So we're looking at that amount. This is out in the mountains where they're looking to get more, but we're here, we're sitting in here in that in that one to three range. We need to be keeping our eyes open for that one. Now let's go into our journal here. And for us, today is the first of April, April 1st. Boy, I think there's a title for that. Oh, today's April Fools. Yeah, um, we are not expecting any snow anytime soon. Let's close that one out. April Fools on now. And now with our windy map, we're able to see the, the, the our wind direction. We are cooler today. It's because we're still having this dip down through here. The wind direction is blowing the cold air from Detroit and Columbus, Ohio, coming from the north, coming down to the south. That's why we have our cooler temperatures right now than we were having earlier. So if we watch this, I'll bet you, let's take this up and see where our jet stream is located. I'll bet you our jet stream is dipping way down there low. Let's get up here around 7,000 meters. Yeah, there's our jet stream, ladies and gentlemen. The heart of the jet stream is going through Florida. So we are above it. We are the north of the jet stream, which means it is we are in the, having all that cold polar air coming down to where we are right here in North Carolina. So that is where we are with that one. Drop this back down to surface level. One more thing that we talk about sometimes in, in fifth grade science is we talk about the we talk about the Gulf Stream. Uh, that's not the one I was trying to get to. Where's my there's my currents right here. It's the currents right here. We're gonna take a look here at the Gulf Stream, and you can see where it is. This stream of water right through here is coming out of this area down here called the Gulf of Mexico, which is where it gets its name for the Gulf Stream. Comes out of the Gulf of Mexico, comes up around Florida, up the eastern seaboard, up the east coast, right past North Carolina, and then it starts to head out to sea, heading over towards Europe. 
So this is where this is bringing us the warm temperatures uh, in the water. In the wintertime, this is where we'd have warmer temperatures, more mild temperatures along the East Coast because the warm water is off the coast. So that's one of the reasons we do study that one here. Um, let's take a look a little bit at um, the rain. If we have any rain coming around us, this is the part that has. Um, let's get us up to, up to date here. This is where it, this is what left us yesterday. We don't have anything coming towards us here, but into tomorrow, I see we're pushing things out. Um, I do think I was looking at the cloud cover, and it looks like um, today we're going to be clouding over. Make sure we're getting more clouds throughout the day, breaking up late tonight, and um, we should have some clearer skies come tomorrow. The way this is looking. About 9 o'clock tomorrow is when I'll be doing my next video. And it looks like we should have some pretty decent cloud, very little cloud cover coming in. So look forward to seeing what that brings for us. Thank you for watching. Uh, take care of yourself, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.